Hi everyone, and welcome to this Silicy Texturing course of video games with Blender, where you can learn everything you need to give life and color to your models with Silicy Aesthetics. My name is Jose Moreno, also known as The Paradox, and I am a video game 3D artist. And over the last few years, I have studied a lot the texturing workflow with Blender, getting to know in deep all the potential of the program in this aspect. And along this course, I will be showing you the process and the techniques I use in my work. This course was designed for everyone who wants to texture models with the stylized aesthetics, and it is mainly focused on video games. However, the techniques we are going to see are usable as well in any kind of project, whether animation or 3D illustration. At the end of the course, you will be able to texture objects and characters with a stylized or hand painted looking understanding and applying the color fundamentals and the material properties. With the Blender Texture Paint mode and the use of nodes, we have a wide range of tools for texturing. So, the objective of this course is to show you the workflow to follow so you can create a texture for your own models. And to extract the base maps and the final presentation of our models, we are going to use Marmoset Toolback, currently the most powerful program to make maps and real-time rendering. We are going to start in the chapter 1, where we will see the texture paint fundamentals, the main tools and the basic use of the material nodes. In the second chapter we are going to create our first project, which is this motion diorama, where we will see the entire texturing process. We will model the objects in this scene, we will make the UV unwrapping, and then we will texture it with hand painted techniques. Lastly we are going to prepare the model in Marmoset to create the final presentation. In the third chapter, we are going to work in this mystery diorama. And from here, I will give you both the high poly and the low poly model with the respective UV unwrapping. So, the first step here is to make the base maps. We are going to extract all the details from the high poly model into maps which are going to be the base for all our materials. With the maps ready, we are going to start creating the colors in a procedural way. We are going to see how we can project images with an stencil and we will create the emissive channel. And finally, we are going to extract all the maps to create the presentation in Marmoset. In the chapter 4, we are going to work in this chest. We are going to follow a very similar process to the last project, but we are going to see more in deep the roughness and the metalness. We are going to extract the final maps as well to create a professional final presentation of our model. And in the last chapter, we are going to work on our final project where we are going to apply all the things we learned along the course to create the materials of this character. We are going to work in organic materials as hair, skin and fur, and also in hard surface materials like wood and different kinds of metals, also including different techniques for the clothes. Finally, we are going to hand paint the skin details and we are going to focus not only in single materials, but in the interaction of all the materials between them, to achieve a consistent and appealing result. And with the final presentation of our model, we will conclude the chapter. This course is for beginner users who want to learn in deep the texturing process in Blender, and it has more than 10 hours of content. Before starting the course, it is recommended that you know the basic functions of Blender. But if you don't have experience, I can give you also the necessary material, so that you can catch up with this topic. We also have a Facebook group, where you can share your work and get feedback alongside other students. I invite you to check the free material of the course to you realize this course is really for you. Thank you for your interest and see you soon in the course.